My little sister was full of freckles. Dark hair, pale skin, freckles all over her face. Now, I thought she was adorable, but she did not. And she hated her freckles. And I think she had even counted them all. <laughs> I don't know how that would have been possible. But I think she counted them, and she hated every single one of them individually. But, again, I thought they were cute. Anyway, um, my little sister, now she had a heart transplant, when my daughter was two and a half, and my daughter, um, her middle name is my sister's first name, Danielle. Um, and I did that because, you know, we didn't know how long we would have Danielle around after her heart transplant. Um, she passed away when my daughter was two and a half. It was very, very hard um, on, on, all, on all of us. But... <laughs> Um, when she passed away, she lived in Indianapolis, I lived in Houston, and so, of course, I got in my car to go up to up to Indianapolis to be with them, and I had my daughter with me, so I drove all night long, my daughter sleeping in the back seat. Well, in the morning, um, it was Tuesday morning, um, she woke up in the back and, you know, was ready to get out and stretch and, you know, do some things like that, and so we were going to go eat, you know, get her changed and cleaned up and everything else. And I had some wipes and I'm wiping her face and she's got a couple spots and I'm wiping her face and I'm like, those aren't coming off. And then I was like, those are freckles. She has freckles on her face. She had never had freckles on her face. She was two and a half. Okay. So, you know, we, we do what we're going to do and we continue driving up to, um, Indianapolis and we get there and the next morning, you know, we get up and, you know, doing what we need to be doing and stuff like that. And I see more freckles on her face. And I'm like, that's weird. You know, no, so she's got my little sister's, you know, name. Um, and uh, oddly enough, some of her mannerisms, although she, they, my sister only met my daughter once when she was newborn. So she was a couple weeks old. Um, oops. Oh, sorry about that. But of course she spoiled a rotten. So my daughter was born in December and then we saw my sister at Christmas time. So, you know, she had birthday present, you know, her birthday, you know, presents and then Christmas presents. I think like seven pairs of shoes. I'm like, seriously, no one needs, no little child, baby needs seven pairs of shoes, but she just spoiled a rotten and she was always sending her stuff. So anyway, um, you know, we, we, you know, have the funeral and, and all of those things. And I stayed in Indianapolis for a little while to visit with some high school friends and stuff. And I noticed that more freckles have popped up in my daughter's face. And I'm like, that is so weird that my daughter passed away. She, or my sister passed away, hates her freckles. And then the day after she dies, my daughter starts getting freckles. So when we get back down to Houston, so I think we've been gone almost two weeks at that point, I take her, you know, it, to her Nana's house. It wasn't really her, her Nana or anything. Um, just that it, it was a Hispanic woman that watched her and she, they loved each other. And Nana also watched a couple of her grandsons and, you know, she spoiled all the kids rotten and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, when I, when I was dropping my daughter off at her place, uh, when we got back and I had to go to work, the first thing she says is, she's like, oh, of course, she's like, oh, my baby, she's back. I missed her so much. Um, but she looks at her and she's like, oh, where did she get all those freckles? Because by now she's got like about 20 freckles on her face, you know, across her little nose. And I mean, it's, I think it's adorable. Anyway, I, you know, so I'm like, well, it wasn't me just imagining that or anything like that. But I'm like, isn't that just so weird? And my daughter has you know, she doesn't have as many freckles as my sister did. Um, and she's 29 now. <laughs> so she, I'm sure she has all the freckles that she's going to have, but she's got all these cute freckles across her face. And I tell her that story, you know, because there's so many things that she does. that reminds me of my sister. And, you know, I just, of course, just loved my sister and I love my daughter. Um, and so, you know, my daughter grew up loving her freckles because, um, of that story. And because it is such a unique thing, not everybody has freckles. I don't have any, I'm getting some age spots, but I don't have any freckles. <laughs> but, um, anyway, it's a really cool story and I just thought I'd share it with you. And, uh, anyway, uh, it's a great memory for me. And, uh, anyway, hope you're having a great night and I'll see you soon.